Happy New Year and this is my first video for 2021 and so I thought today I would talk about throat clearing and this is a big topic because it is so prevalent I think for so many of us including myself and I wanted to talk today about why it's something that we really want to try and stop doing and some things that we can do instead that are actually kinder to our voice and also some things to think about in terms of longer term and maybe what's the cause of the throat clearing in the first place. So throat clearing is a really natural response by our bodies to try and rid excessive mucus or thick mucus or even soothing a dry tickly throat. And so there's lots of reasons why we clear our throat. It could be from sickness or illness. It could be from an allergy like hay fever in my case. It could be things like dietary reasons. So I know, for example, if I have too much dairy, I tend to have an excess of mucus. Also things like dehydration, smoking and acid reflux. So throat clearing is what we call a phonotrauma and it falls into a family of non-phonatory behaviors which sounds a bit scary but it falls into things like persistent coughing loud sneezing weight lifting with vocal strain and also things like if you've ever heard tennis players where they grunt when they hit the ball they are all phonotrauma non-phonatory behaviors and throat clearing falls in this family now the problem is that over time these behaviours can become very abusive for the voice, particularly if we combine a few together. So if you're sick, for example, you're probably going to be sneezing, coughing and clearing your throat. And fair enough, you know, but what I want to show you today is some alternatives to clearing your throat, because if you're doing all of those all the time, it does become very, very abusive for our voice. The reason it's abusive is every time we clear our throat, <coughs> we're literally slamming the vocal folds together at high speed and it can cause irritation and eventually injury to our voice. Now I mentioned that throat clearing is incredibly common. And I think even if there's, even if you're someone that's not sick or have an allergy, I still think there's lots of other reasons why we clear our throat. Some of which I've mentioned things like diet, dehydration, acid reflux for example but another one which you might not have considered is it can often be an unconscious habit when we're anxious or nervous so how many times have you listened to a presentation or been in a meeting and before someone starts speaking they go <clears throat> and then they start speaking now they probably don't really need to clear their throat it's almost like a nervous twitch it's just something that they do and they don't even probably know that they do it and so it's really important to start to become aware of if you are a chronic throat clearer, what's actually driving the throat clearing, and then you can start to break the cycle. Because it's one of those behaviors that the more you do, the more you do. Because the more you clear your throat, the more irritated your vocal folds become, and then the more you clear your throat. So it really is something we want to kind of nip in the bud. So first of all, I'm going to talk about some things you can do in the moment if you feel that urge to clear your throat. And then I'm going to talk about some longer term solutions that you might want to consider. So first of all, and this goes with pretty much everything vo voice related is hydration, 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 and probably the most important thing you can do for your voice. But if you are sick and you're very, you've got a lot of thick, sticky mucus in your throat, I would also suggest steaming your voice. So either just get a bowl of boiling water and put your head over the bowl with a towel over your head, or you can buy these little personal steamers, which I have, and they are absolutely brilliant. And it's probably the most effective thing you can do for your voice outside of drinking water. I think it's also really important to mention that we do want mucus on our vocal folds. We just don't want the thick, sticky mucus. We need mucus for the vocal folds to efficiently vibrate. So we're not ridding all mucus, just that yucky, that's a technical term, yucky mucus. So here are five things you can try when you have that urge to clear your throat. 
And you can actually do a few of these if you want. If you find that one isn't actually really helping, if it's particularly bad, you can do a few. So number one is sip water. And I would really recommend that you just have water with you all the time anyway. But if you are going through a particularly difficult time with throat clearing, just make sure you've got some water with you and just try sipping water instead of going for that urge to go. <clears throat> Number two is a hard swallow a couple of times. Now I recommend you do this a couple of times because the first time is really just to dislodge the mucus and then the next time is to kind of clear it. So a really good hard swallow. Number two, but as I say, you can combine a few of these. That's absolutely fine. Number three, is a swallow with a chin tuck and this is really effective if you find like a normal swallow doesn't work so really have your chin right down to your chest and swallow and you'll really notice that it kind of just slides down so effortlessly number four is a yawn and a swallow So again, you might not be able to do that one if you're in a meeting maybe, but these are just a few options to try. And then finally, a very quiet, mm, so that's probably too loud, but I have to demonstrate it. So a very quiet, mm, and then a swallow. So as I say, you can try one, two, three, or all five of them, depending on how bad you feel the urge to clear your throat. Now, in terms of moving forward, if you know that this is a chronic issue for you, there could be an underlying health issue. And so I would highly recommend you go and see your doctor, first of all, to eliminate things like acid reflux, because we know that a symptom of acid reflux is excessive mucus and throat clearing. It could also be worth reviewing your diet, maybe too much dairy, but there's lots of foods that can increase mucus production. So just to be mindful, not that you want to necessarily eliminate them completely, but maybe you might not want to have them before an important presentation or performance. If you get the all clear from your doctor, or you've already been down that path and you know that there's nothing from a health perspective to really, or a diet perspective to think about, I'd really recommend you consider voice training, particularly if you're a singer or a speaker that has high vocal demands because you could be inadvertently irritating your vocal folds by the way you use your voice. If there's too much strain, too much effort, then you're going to be slamming the vocal folds together and irritating them. And so you want to learn how to effortlessly voice. So definitely that if using your voice is really important for your work. And finally, which I kind of mentioned at the start, start to pay attention to when you feel the urge to clear your throat. So if you say can link it to something specific like something that you ate or perhaps if it's hay fever season like for me I know that during hay fever season it's always I'm always feeling the urge to clear my throat a lot more but if there's nothing that you can directly link it to start to notice is this due to sort of anxiety or nerves around speaking and start to notice, are you someone that clears your throat sort of habitually before you go into a presentation? And if you do notice that it, there is that kind of emotional response, then you might want to try some other things that can calm and soothe you before you start speaking or going into a performance. So some deep belly breaths is a really great way you can do immediately before you start speaking or singing. But the other thing, as I mentioned at the start, is to have some water with you. And in the days pre-COVID, when I was doing a lot of performing on stage, I would always, always, always have water on stage with me. And I was never afraid to sip water between songs or in instrumentals or whatever. So never feel afraid to sip water and just have it with you. It's better to sip water than to throat clear. So I hope that's really helped. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please feel free to comment below. And I wish you all a very happy, healthy and abundant 2021.